Hi, uh, I'm Martin and I'm from Alabama and this is my build, um, labelled Come Into The Factories. Uh, I've recently been told to rename it Keep Calm and Let's Build Tanks. <laughs> so what we have is, it's a little vignette that was inspired um, A by my love of World War II, which is my passion before LEGO and still is, and then C by uh, buying this Churchill tank which Yitzi designed and I, I built or bought and built from Brickmania. So bought the tent, uh, the tank, and I wanted to have a good diorama setting in it. So there's, there's so many good war scenes where tanks blow each other up and planes crash. And growing up on the south coast of England, I wanted to do something that was close to me. So uh, 1941, uh, women of Britain were allowed to join the uh, national service. And all these tanks we saw in World War II from both sides, the, uh, the Americans, the British, the Germans, the boats, the planes, everything, they were built by women. And I think that the role in our community, the Lego community, and every community period is under-recognized. So I wanted to build a diorama that kind of respected what they did and displayed what they did during the war. Okay. Yeah, I, th I think it turned out really great. You know, you, the, way you, the way you incorporated the Brickmania tanks there. So kind of take us through some of your favorite elements. I like you got the trans clear windows there in the background. Yeah, so favorite elements, um, the uh, middle line. So the, the, the setting's in a, a, a train. Um, a, uh, what am I looking for? A train shed, a train station, railway station. So we've got the, the rail lines where the tanks kind of moved along. Um, but some of my favorite parts are some of the characters which I think bring it to life. So we've got Dude in the middle uh, with his suitcase. He's just turned up just on time. He's been working in the bank and the ladies are trying to move the turret back onto the tank. He's like, okay, hang on, let me show you how to do it. But they're doing it anywhere without him. They were fine. Um, I like my little cats ravaging through the trash cans. My little girl Maggie loves cats. So they oh, yeah. always have to be in scenes. <laughs> and then some of the other details where we have the, the guy who's maybe he was a little bit too short, a little bit too podgy to fight in World War II. So his job is he's the factory manager. Um, and then we have Lando's uh, tank commander who's coming and he's inspecting the tanks at the end. Uh, but yeah, the, the windows, I knew I wanted tall windows and realistically they would have been blacked out probably during World War II. And we're, 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 we're getting on into the war here. Sort of blacked them out to stop the bombings at night. Um, but I wanted a nice tall, different, rather than building just regular windows. So there's a bunch of one by two clear bricks, all stuck together in different angles. Uh, but my favorite part is the part that no one's actually seen, which is around the back. So uh, if I turn it for you to make it a little easier, and it's gonna come apart, so you can see how it comes apart. It's okay. just been bombed by the Germans, so it blew up. But if you look around the back there, we have a little policeman on his bike riding with his little Alsatian dog, his German Shepherd, just kind of making sure the streets are clear, no one's out doing what they shouldn't be doing. Yeah. Um, but then other little details, I printed off some World War II um, recruitment posters uh, just on a regular printer. Um, my favorite one over here is what inspired the actual build. It's the come into the factory. So the poster said, women of Britain come into the factory. She's standing there, arms up, there's planes flying behind her. And that was the main inspiration for the build. So I was like, okay, I'll do that. Yeah. And then another piece I noticed, you got kind of the, the round pieces up here at the top there. I, I like the, what piece is that? So those are just round pieces. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it looks like modern day, it looks like it would be like an air conditioning vent, something, but we don't have that. We didn't have that in 1941. So the idea of these, these are shutters that would roll down and pull down and be able to black out the windows at night so that they can continue their work at night time without being bombed. So, okay. Sure. And uh, you mentioned, you know, your love of World War II. I think that's really interesting because World War II plays such a big part in the LEGO community. You see it, look around Brick Fair here. There's sure. so many World War II builds. So you, you mentioned you, you grew up in England and obviously now you live in the U.S. Right. Have you noticed kind of differences in ways that, you know, people in England versus people in the U.S. kind of approach World War II or even maybe differences in LEGO building as you've seen some of the builds that people have done? So I see a lot of young kids building World War II here, which I think is brilliant because my generation back home, doesn't really appreciate it as much. And I think to be able to have this young generation come in and know what the battles were, know what's going on, it makes us realize sometimes what we're going through is, is nothing, absolutely nothing compared to the generations that we've had. And I've been concerned uh, when I did history uh, at school, we'd, we'd take oral histories from people because we'd say, take the memories because they're going to be gone forever. 
I'm just impressed with what I see that the memories are living on. Um, and, you know, I, I think the work that's done around here is great. I don't know what we, what, what we build in England. I'm not there anymore. But what I see here is, is phenomenal work. So it's, it's, I was kind of nervous a little bit to join the World War II deal. Um, I'm tempted to do a little bit more, we'll see. So, but Brickmania definitely was one of the ones that were like, okay, go ahead and build. <laughs> so. yeah, I think they've definitely been a big factor, all the kits they've released over the years and kind of pushing that more and, and getting kids and, and adults involved in building more military builds. Sure, and it, it's more than just blowing up people and shooting people. It's, let's really look at what happened. When we think World War II, you know, the five, six years, you know, what the toll was on families. You know, the men who went off to war and some women went off to war. You know, they cut their hair, went, they went. Um, you know, they didn't, they couldn't write home. They, no one knew where they were. It, it, it's something that I think needs to live strong in our memories. And as we look at little young children come and learn and what's going on, I think it's great. So. Yeah, I, I definitely agree. So thanks for bringing this build. I think it turned out really great. I appreciate you talking to me about it. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you.